doing everybody this is that our nerd back at it again with another SAS tutorial um, I've just been going over the SAS certification prep guide and I thought it'd be helpful to uh, kind of go over the different steps uh, that it goes over in each chapter so this covers the the basic gist of chapter one uh, so what chapter one talks about is the uh, the different types of things that they have. Uh, so most of these are going to be either data steps or proc steps. Uh, data steps are used to like create or modify different SAS data sets. Um, and then the proc steps are uh, different things that list, sort, summarize different data. Within these two different steps, they have what they call a SAS statement. And each of these SAS statements begins normally with a SAS keyword, so like input or cards or uh, I don't know, there's where, uh, any of these different keywords. Um, and then they always end in a semicolon. Someone once said, uh, forgetting a semicolon is like forgetting your pants. And I forget what the punchline was with that, but uh, you have to have a semicolon on all these different uh, SAS statements here. Uh, they're what we call a free format, so they can begin and end anywhere on the line, right? So you can tab it out to make it look better. Um, let's see, one statement can go into several lines. If you don't close out your semicolon, you can, you know, move it down and go into different lines. Um, and also you can do uh, several statements on one line. So if I were to put that up there, that would be perfectly okay, because we have the semicolon separating these two out. Um, so that's what the, the free format means. Um, so with that, let's, let's go through this little example. So this first one is called a, uh, a data set or a data step, I guess. Um, so we're saying uh, data and we wanna make a data set called exampe. And into exampe, we wanna put an X variable, a Y variable, a Z variable, and a date variable. And if you put these dollar signs after your uh, variable name, it's going to be a character. Uh, so we're saying we're gonna put X, we're gonna put Y, we're gonna put Z as a character and date as a character um, into our data set. And then card says, here comes the data. And we put it in, um, so we say uh, 3.25 for X, two for Y, A for Z, and the date there, and it goes on and on. Uh, when you have missing values in SAS, you have to input them, so everything needs to have a value in it. Um, but if it's missing, you input it as a, a period. And so this signifies that we have a couple uh, missing values down here. Uh, to run uh, a program in SAS, you highlight whatever part you want to run, and then you go up to this little running man and run it. And so in SAS Studio, at least it shows your your output data, I'm not sure about the, the full version of SAS, um, but if you wanted to see the data, you could do a, a proc statement, and we'd say uh, proc print, so we wanna print our data, and we say our data is equal to exampe, um, so we call this data set up here, and then we say run. And if we call that, it's gonna print us out a nice little table here, it gives us our X's, our Y's, our Z's, and our dates. You'll notice for these uh, these missing variables down here, this one has a period in it and the rest don't. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, in SAS, if your missing variable is numeric, it's gonna be a period. Where if it's a character, it's just gonna be left blank. Um, so that's why it does that. Uh, you can also uh, set different data sets in there. So this one, we're, we're making a data set called exam2. Um, into that data set, we're setting uh, our exam data set, um, and we're specifying where X is greater than 3.5. So we're only gonna take the observations where this X variable here is greater than 3.5. And so if we run that, and do a proc print on it, then we're gonna see that it only kept our observations where X was greater than 3.5. With the other ones, chucks them out, they're gone. Um, this last little chunk here shows how to do in formats. Uh, they don't work in SAS Studio at all, really. Um, they definitely don't work well. Um, 
but this is how, how you do it. So you'd specify your data set as exam, and then you type in format x uh, dollar 5.2. Uh, so what this is doing, there are tons of different in formats and formatting that you can do in SAS. Uh, what this one's saying is we want to do it in a dollar, so this would put a little dollar sign at the beginning. And then we're saying it's going to be uh, five characters long and two, well I guess five numbers long, because this has to be numeric. Uh, so five numbers and there's going to be two numbers after the decimal. So that's what this is trying to say here. Um, and if we run it, and I click on X, it'll show that our in format that we specified is $5.2, so that's correct. Uh, but for some reason, it doesn't like to print it out on here. Um, but that's how you would do it in, in SAS. Um, you'd specify your in format, whatever variable you're formatting, and uh, that there. And so if we printed this out again, again, this time it's supposed to have the dollar sign and be a dollar variable, but it's, uh, it doesn't really work in SAS Studio. Uh, get what you pay for, I guess. Um, so, um, there are a couple different uh, names for these. So they call these observations, which it has it labeled here. Um, so down this uh, down this column is going to be your number of observations, and then your uh, variables are going to be your different columns. So observations are rows, variables are columns. Let's see, uh, for character, it can contain anything. It doesn't matter what you put in here, it can be whatever. Um, if it's numeric, uh, it has to be zero through one, or zero through nine, I guess. And then it also could be a plus sign, a minus sign, a period, right, because we have a period in here. Uh, or it could be, contain an E for scientific notation, anything else, and it's not gonna be formatted as a uh, numeric anymore. Uh, so that was a quick uh, overview of the first chapter in the SAS certification prep guide. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as best I can. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to press a super studly SAS studio onto that like button down there. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Like I said, I'm going to be going through every chapter of the SAS certification book and uh, just going over a quick little tutorial for all those. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.